Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Sharon Spurlock, the Senior Director of Family Education at the St. Louis Art. I'm so glad you chose to spend some time with us today to learn about the amazing resources at your St. Louis County Library. Today, we're gonna to be talking about employment-specific resources because it's National Disability Employment Awareness Month. It's really important that everybody know about the resources that they can tap into because people with disabilities deserve to work. They deserve to work in jobs that are meaningful and uh, use all their talents and the library is going to help you to pursue and get that great job. My name is Regina Crandall and I am the small business and employment resources librarian for St. Louis County Library. That's a lot of words to say I provide expertise, resources, referrals, and programming for entrepreneurs and small business owners and those in career transition which is what we're talking about today. I'm going to share library resources to help people prepare for the job search and upskilling resources um, to further an existing career or to transition into another industry altogether. So if we have time uh, at the end, I will show you even how to find and apply for jobs at the library. So the library has an impressive number of resources to help the job seeker. In the interest of time, I'm going to show you just a few. Just a heads up that all of these resources are free with the St. Louis County Library card. You might be surprised how easy it is to get a St. Louis County Library card. For example, do you live in the city of St. Louis? Do you live in St. Charles or Jefferson County? If so, you are all eligible for a card. So there is a link in my presentation that you will all get that can take you to that um, library card section. So from now, I am going to go into each of these. I want to show you, however, how we are gonna access every single asset we're talking about today. So this is our website, slcl.org. Everything we're doing, we go to research and learn. If you come down here to resources A to Z, the, all of our databases are in alphabetical order. So the, the first one we're gonna talk about is brain views now. So I'm coming to B and I will scroll down. You can see they're in alphabetical order as well. Okay. So we're coming here to brain views job now. This is where you would sign in normally to your um, with your library card. It's really cool here right now because there's a video you can watch to remind you how to use it, kind of like what I'm going through very quickly. So at a glance here, some of you had asked about mock interviews or initial um, communication and input. We have three little modules, if you will, resume writing, interviews, and job searching in general. Every single one of these has a live coach. From um, two o'clock to 11 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time every single day, okay? And then this is where you would be communicating with this person and you can write things, you can upload things. This is a way you can get assistance from a live expert um, for And you can see right here from 2 o'clock to 11 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time. Um, if When we look at resume writing really quickly, we have templates you can use. So that's great because we have functional combination and chronological resumes. We have classes at separate points in time called Resume Rescue, and they discuss the difference between those formats and when they are appropriate. Uh, resume resources. Resume Lab, once again, you can, through this, you create an account and then basically your information is saved so that your communication, everything you do within this um, database is then saved. Interviewing, this is great. You have a live coach. This is your equivalent of a mock interview. You can practice with someone face-to-face, -face, well, online. Interviewing tips, uh, sample questions, do's and don'ts, what you do after the interview and before, online resources. Once again, 
you can get the same information in multiple places, which either is confusing or you determine which of these makes you feel better, right? It's easier for you to look at. It's easier for you to follow. Live life skills. Once again, it's, it's live coach. Okay, and they will always ask you what you did after. We're coming down to skill surfer. What we have here is depending on your level. If you are high school level, it doesn't matter how old you are, it demands your level. You can have these tests. You can practice tests in these various topics. So you can get ready for school. You can prepare in advance of a certain grade. You can review. Um, even if you're an adult, you've gone through high school and all of a sudden you're going into some, a, a job, for example, that is requiring certain skills you haven't used since high school. You remember all those classes we had where we said, when am I ever going to use this? You can re literally take this information to acquaint yourself with the topics. Here you can do your practice tests, your GED high set. We have them in English and Spanish, which is fantastic. College. Um, this is simply help how to apply for college. What's that process look like? Then college level pre-algebra, so you can start to prepare for your entrance exams, your PSAT, your ACT, SAT, your AP test. So maybe you're in high school and you want to see if you can, if you think you can go up to that AP level. So this is fantastic. Okay. Um, Accuplacer. Our career prep, this is what's, I wanted to get to this one next, but we have the various tests, right? Praxis is um, teachers, I believe. Yes, teachers. And then these are nursing, your nursing exams. Say you have, you think you have an interest in nursing. Well, take a test and see if, does it still interest you? Is it something to pursue? And then we have your military, right? So let's look at this. Here you can, if you're determining what job, maybe you've been out of the um, working industry a while and you need to get up on your skills again that you already had, you're thinking of changing careers, you're thinking of going into a career. This has got some great stuff. Let's look at one of these, asbestos handler. So we go here, we learn all about the asbestos handlers and inspector jobs in the United States. So all of this is from OSHA. So you know, you're not just Googling stuff, right? Because OSHA basically determines everything. This is what you do, right? These are the various manuals. These are the open ex exams. So you're literally seeing the manuals you can study and then you can take these tests in advance of determining whether or not you want to be in any particular industry. I, I just have to jump in and talk about this because I have so many young adults that will come in and talk to me about wanting to be, for example, graphic designers because they enjoy gaming and they enjoy the Oops. kind of the artsy parts of it. But it's really hard for me to know whether or not like, what are they going to be expected to know, learn to be a graphic exactly. designer? And this is so cool to be able to walk in and look at this resource. And right see there, that. graphic designers right here. I love it. We got flashcards, right? So you can literally practice, but we have advanced. You have, so this, it just, this helps you experiment, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you've never done it. It doesn't matter if you need to review it or if you need to change this is a huge way to short of going to school and paying money to learn it. This is a fantastic way, in my opinion, to um, uh, upskill and just learn a new skill. So let's go back to, because um, that was really neat. That was under this skill surfer. We're going to go into job searching. Come on. I want to go into job searching. Or not. Come on. So we have our live coach, our expert <clears throat> job matching. What this means is in here, we have career assessments. Career, um, and for those of you who are not familiar with it, career assessments 
they explore, they basically compare your interest with potential jobs. There's assessments that compare your skills to other jobs. So if you have no idea, you're like, I have no idea what I want to do, right? I know I don't want to do this. If you've ever done some, if you've even ever worked, but if you've never worked, how do you know where to start? So some of these um, career assessment tools are just really fun to take. And they're not just fun. I mean, they're, they're serious business. So, but there's just, this helps you with what they look like. And you have to create, a, you know, an account. But once again, that's free. And that's so that you can personalize and retain this information as opposed to it just being, I did it once, it's gone. Okay. Um, and these are pretty standard. But this is fun. Um, quick assessment. You can do it your college preference. So this is geared more toward high or teens, if you will, but skills profiler importance. They're just interests, um, just interesting. So, okay. So and that I just is. I want to say, Regina, I was telling a group yesterday, fun fact, I started in this field because I did a career re thing and it said, you'd be really good at that. And I said, well, I don't know anything about that. So I joined an Explorer post and volunteered with people with disabilities and the rest is history, but it all started with a with career the test. assessment. So mm -hmm. I encourage all middle and high schoolers to get out there and play with it and find out what's out there for you. Exactly. And it may be, I mean, some people, you'll hear the horror stories of people it was, it was backwards, but then you have to determine how did you take that test, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next one we're going to go straight to, we don't have to go all the way through it. Because Can we I ask all a question to, before we move on? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to ask about the credentials. Who are the coaches that are being pulled up to do this live stuff? Are they volunteers? Are they librarians, social workers? Who, who does that for you? I all? believe they are people that are expert in doing this. Um, so they're not librarians, they're people, they're job coaches, for example, that okay. is their career. Okay. Um, so you're not just getting a volunteer, you're getting experts in that area. Outstanding. Thank you. Okay. You bet. So the next one we're going to is called learning express library. We got through it the same way, but we got some really interesting things here as well. Uh, career prep. So once again, you can learn more about a career. So you can, <clears throat> so sometimes it's just which one feels better for you. So all you do is register and sign in and then you just look at it. A lot of these, these can be video, they can be articles, they can be flashcards. So they're different types of resources. Um, depending on your learning style, that may be the way you choose which, um, which one of these programs works best for you? Job search and workplace skills. If you don't know how to look for a job, it's really hard. So this explains how to do it. And let's talk about workplace skills. You may be great at what you do, but if you don't have workplace skills, what we call soft skills often, that may be a detriment. So this is a good way to explore those as well. So here we have uh, different types of um, positions and their exams. Air traffic controller. Let's look at what this looks like. So you can see a scenario practice. This is kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? So this just, and they're all register one-on-one -on -one so that you're not taking a huge topic. You're breaking it down into bite-sized pieces and you can do it over and over again. Um, CDL. We get a lot of requests for CDL. You got your practice test, and that's great. That's great. Your, cosmo, uh, your cosmetology, your hospitality. We're going to get more into some of these trades, but once again, here's your practice exam. Did you know that a lot of the people that apply for trades, they're desperate? We've all heard these statistics. A lot of times we have, there are, tens of thousands of people that want to get in the trades and they cannot pass the tests. So it's because a lot of times it's because of the math. So if you get look into these, you can see those details to help you get past that. Uh, law enforcement, there's quite a few, military, okay. 
So teaching exam, look at all of those different teaching exams. Everyone says, I want to be a kindergarten teacher. Do you? So sit here and take that test and see um, if that is uh, what works for you. So we're going to come back out here. Um, this is the same. I don't know why that's in there twice. So we come here to this job um, accelerator, job and career accelerator. And this is once again, how to build a resume, your cover letter. So it is finding your career match. So it's the skills match, the interest mass, uh, matcher, explore occupations. We do this a lot for the people coming out of the military because they've been in the military and they don't understand how what they did there can translate to the civilian world. So this helps, uh, it's called a connector, right? A translator. So a lot of that, the same here with military to college. This is nice, this bright outlook for, um, for occupations. Do you want to invest the time in something that's literally a dying industry? Well, how do you know if it's a dying industry? You can look here, see what's on the horizon, hot technologies, registered apprenticeships. This is a huge way to not only make a good living while you are learning, but here's an easy way to find it. Because you don't often see when you're looking for jobs, oftentimes they don't talk about apprenticeships. So this is a good way to find them. Um, preparing for an interview. And this is the same thing for schools and scholarships. This is a good way to find some if that is on your timeline. Let's see what we have here. Okay, we're going to go to reference solutions. Normally, this is what a database I use for all my small business. But we're not going to talk about that today. We're going straight here to the 7 million job postings here. Okay. So just like any of the job boards, you know, Indeed, ZipRecruiter, it's the same. We're going to go straight here to advanced search. This looks familiar, right? You put in your word, your phrase, you can look for a specific company within a certain location of blank and posted within the past blank days. So you saw there's 7 million job search uh, jobs that is supposed to be like a, a culmination of all of the other job boards out there, just so you know. But when you scroll down here, this is where you have some more of the things we discovered with Learning Express Library and BrainFuse Now. But does it look better? Does it look more interesting to you? It's, it's, you see how they all have a different feel? to the way they look. And it can literally just engage you. Um, just it's how you engage and interact with the information. I just want you to be aware um, that they all just look different. Job search tips, everything like this. And then some of them are video. So if you learn better by watching video content than reading, that's a, that's a nice um, asset right here. Internships again. And uh, student jobs, once you have some, how do you evaluate a job um, offer or a salary estimator? How do you know if it's a good one? You have your practice tests here. So I just wanted to point that out really quickly in case that format looks more friendly to you. Now I'm going to take you in something really interesting. This is called Skill Mill, it is an inner, it's an immersive learning option for the skilled trades. So you would get led through expert led content, video courses, knowledge checks, 3D simulation. It's basically virtual hands-on training for the trades. So I want you to look at this for a minute so you can see what I'm talking about. When you go in the catalog, this is the trades it currently has. I've been taking the solar panel in installer. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> but they're going to add, I believe, automotive and carpentry are coming. So I'm going to go into here. Let's go into plumbing. You can see here how you can pick your language. A lot of these are in English and Spanish, which is critical. Skill levels. 
Are you just thinking of going into it? Are you a beginner? Are you an intermediate? You're already in it. Are you already in it and you need to advance in it? Um, for example, to stay current in your career because of new technology and law. So this is a way to do it. You can go directly to a skill. And what's really nice here, this is the math. So if you know I can get through everything, right? Say you are already in it and you can't get the math you and you need, it's time to take your tests and you can't get there. You can go straight to math and do your trades. This is trades math. So it's enough to help you take the test so you can get licensed in this trade, right? Because the plumber is not necessarily going to have the same math as a carpenter, as a solar installer. Some of it's slightly different. And then you just, it breaks it down. This is a 19, uh, 19 courses in 20 hours. This is not for someone to just play around in. You And you enroll and it talks about absolutely everything. Okay, look at all, this is all safety, obviously you can tell by the hazmat. Now you can get cert certified through OSHA here. This is all vetted by the Department of Labor. So everything that comes through here, you can literally take to an employer and say, this is what I have done. That puts you head and shoulders above anyone else. If you were looking for an apprenticeship or something of that nature. Fatigue management. Interesting. I suppose that's really, I mean, that's really important in the trades. It's, they're very physical, right? I wonder too if there's some crossover between the different types of resumes that you talked about, like being able to say that you've got this kind of OSHA certification or whatever would probably be very fitting in a specific type of resume. So people are able to really, I think sometimes that's a real challenge for people with disabilities is that they their resume isn't very hefty, but if you can show how much initiative you've taken to address something on your own, I think that's really powerful. Well, or you can show if you don't have the experience, you can show you have the education you have been, yeah. you know, you have been putting in that. So it's not like you have been idle. So I think that's, what's really, really important. And these are all taught by, um, professionals and it gives you every one of them their bio so like right here nine videos and they give you these knowledge checks so you can take it the little quiz and go oh I didn't get it right so you can go back and you can keep going back and that's something you can't do in a regular classroom that's something you can't do on site they're not going to keep going back and going back so this gives you an opportunity to saturate yourself if you really need to and here it tells you about the instructor 40 years in solar PV, right? So you know you're not just Googling YouTube and you have no idea who that is telling you to do what, okay? And then you get Nate certified. These are, these are industry certifications. So that's, um, that's just huge. But I wanna show you really quickly, if all of you are interested, what it looks if you're interested in working at the library. So once again, we start at our homepage, which is slcl.org. Now, if you scroll all the way down, it says employment. So you just click on here. So all of our positions are posted here. This is the only way to apply for positions. I mean, long gone are the days of paper, right? Everything goes through here. The good thing is, is you create an account and then that, that account is always there, but you have to apply for every single job individually because they have different hiring managers, right? So if you liked this one, you would apply. And if, once you have an account, you just hit apply. And then if you like this one, you hit apply. So, but this is where they all are. Please note, St. Louis County is, is incredibly large. Notice where they're located. So, right, we have from Florissant to Frontenac to St. Louis. Okay, we, we run, you know, from Eureka to Jamestown. We are all over the place. So be sure to look at uh, locations and also look at when you go into sing a single one of these, for example, it will tell you the 
the times, their hours. We are open seven days a week. It is a very rare position that does not work weekends. Okay, so I'm just warning people now. So as you can see, the library is a self-sustaining organization. So we have positions that run the gamut. Um, it's not just in the library. Those people you see when you walk in, we have custodial facilities, maintenance, drivers, um, marketing, finance, HR, human resources, um, genealogists, shelvers. So you're going to get absolutely every type of position that the library has. So, and I also would like to tell you that the library is highly rated by its employees. So they tend to stay a long time. In fact, it can be challenging to get your foot in the door. So, because there's so much competition, so you have to be really patient. Um, for each single position, they, I believe they only list them for five days because they get hundreds of applicants within that five days. So that is how you would apply at the library, if that interests you. I wanted to show you, if you want to go over any of this information, you want to sit down one-on-one -on -one with a librarian to talk about your specific needs, we recommend you go to book a librarian. It is right there on, you're gonna get that link. You fill out your name, email address, phone number. We contact you and you tell us what you want to learn. And then we will meet you when and where is convenient to you. So if any of that interested you, if you said that was great, didn't get a single word of it, it was so much information, great. Let's just talk one-on-one. -on -one. And then here's that link to get a library card. And you can see all of the um, libraries. If you're a part of those, then you can get a uh, county library card because to access any of this stuff, you needed a county library card, but then it's free. I mean, it's free with that. So I would love to, we talked about the, the interviewing, right? Um, the employment resources for offender reentry Offender reentry, they have access to all of those same resources that everyone else does. There's nothing specific to you. Um, but we do have, I mean, we do have other uh, uh, offender reentry re resources, but for employment, not in these databases. It's just generic. I believe we talked a little bit about that in a previous in, uh, video. So um, there's somebody that's in charge of the entire program for that, that you could reach out to and get more information about. Right. Regina, there are a couple of questions okay. that, that people had. One was um, about whether or not you help people with anything entrepreneurial. If they want to learn to set up their own business, do you do any kind of work on establishing a business plan or creating the... We Yeah, we have always we have um matter of fact two weeks ago we just finished our small business and nonprofit conference we had four days worth of programming when you look at um this is our website again you guys can still see the website right yeah when you go to events and classes if you scroll down here and put um by any type and you do small business you can see all the small business classes coming up if you want to you know narrow it down to that um you that when we did this and we went up to this book a librarian it's the same thing it's the same thing you want help with research of course you but if you're starting with nothing you're going to have to you're going to have to start with your topic right i need to know how to do a business plan I need to, what are the first steps to starting a business? Something like that. You have to start with your topic and then we sit down and you can do book of librarians as many as you want, because sometimes you don't know what you don't know, but you learn enough information and you go, okay, now I know and I can ask again. But of course that is my job is the small business and the employment resources. So yes, this is what we do all the time. Well, and I'll say, if you haven't been to the library lately, you can make it such a one-stop 
for so many things. They have social workers at libraries at different location and different times now. They mm -hmm. offer some food resources. They offer some uh, resources for um, period supplies. I mean, you name it, they've got all kinds of stuff that you can walk out the door. So if you schedule <laughs> some time in the library, not only can you check out a book or some music, but you can get a ton of other resources uh, right at your fingertips. Um, we had a question about volunteering. Do you have any volunteers or apprenticeship type opportunities to get your foot in the door at the library? Um, I know we have apprenticeship and they tend to be during the summer. So I would, um, I keep going back to our website. I would scroll down to the bottom here, volunteer. See, there's a thing for volunteer right here. And you would fill out, there's a teen application and an adult application. That sounds wonderful. Exactly. Um, we have a, a question. Um, I, I'm going to just read it because it's complex. My son is interested in working in the fitness industry. However, we've had a hard time finding the kind of resources and information about that industry that you're sharing with us today. Are there other similar interests, industries we should be looking at or another way to search for the fitness industry jobs? I'm wondering if he puts his skill sets into some of those surveys, if it would populate with it other would. jobs. Exactly. I think it would not only jobs, but it would give you additional verbiage, right? And that's what you need to do. Fitness industry is probably too vague. Just start putting in gymnasium, try, you know, spas, workout, just, you know, think about your thesaurus. You need to change your verbiage because when people put in keywords, if their keyword doesn't match yours, mm. then it doesn't come up, but it's the same job, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's really an interesting point. Now that so many things are automated, we teach that a lot about resumes as well, that you've got to kind of look at job descriptions and really figure out what the words are that they're using so that you match them in your cover letter or match them in your resume, because sometimes they go through a computer before they ever get to a person. So. Um, almost 100% of the time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is it is to the point where um, humans are the last to look at anything and you can be rejected. You're, you're being rejected by a computer well before you're being rejected by an, um, yeah. a person. Very tricky, which I will just add in to, to, to market the St. Louis arc uh, for that situation. One of the first things we teach our employees here and that we like to do with individuals and families is do that kind of creative brainstorming. So we put fitness job in the middle of an integrated support star tool from charting the life course. And then we'd go around in a circle and try and think of all the jobs that possibly could be there, whether they would be any interest to your son or not. And then we can go back and hone in on that one job or maybe two or three jobs that seem really good to him and then start looking at what are the resources that are, are available here? What's in our community? Who are the people, you know, how do we start pursuing those? So that could be a part of what we do to support your son if he wants a little bit of pre-planning uh, for the job, whether it's through our employment department or our family navigators. That's a really fun, fun process for us to engage in. And we also have um, databases that have industry research and databases where we can pull um, people by industry if you wanted to make connections. So I would go back to that book, a librarian, and it's the same thing. Just do a request and say, this is what I need to know. And we will sit down with you one-on-one -on -one and show you how to get that information. So great. As usual, you said before we started that um, uh, there was going to be stuff that people had never heard about before. <laughs> and I feel super confident that I'm not the only one that had that experience. One of the que the comments we got in the chat was, wow, where was this scholarship information when I needed it five years ago? So mm -hmm. um, there are so much out here. St. Louis is so rich with resources, y'all. I'm glad you came and learned about what's available at the library today. This is one tiny piece mm -hmm. of what's available through our library system. So Regina, any close remarks or things that you want to make sure we don't skip over? Well, I just, I realized this was a lot of information at one time. And I encourage you either reach out to me, book a librarian so we can narrow down to help you get to your next step. Okay. There's, 
there is such a thing as too much information and we we want to help you weed through that regina as usual blow my mind with what's all available <laughs> to us at the library it was great to have you here today thank you so much and thank, thank you, you for, for having us. me hopefully see you all <laughs>